Hey everyone, I'm doing my first TBR video for October. I am generally not going to be doing TBRs just because I feel like I pick books based on whim or how I'm feeling that day. Um, so if I did do TBRs, I would very rarely actually be finishing those books that month. Um, but for October, I actually have a huge pile of horror books that I'm really excited about. So I'm going to do a TBR just this once, <laughs> or maybe every October. We'll see. Um, so the first book, I already read this one. It's A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay, and I loved it. It was so fun and creepy, and it kept me on my toes. It was a really fast read. Um, it follows the story of a girl who is telling the story years later, the true story of what happened um, when her older sister was started to be acting weird, and they weren't sure if it was schizophrenia or they eventually come to the conclusion that she's possessed by a demon. So the family is not doing well financially, so they agree to be on a reality television show that follows the family and, you know, films the exorcism. So it's really great. Um, it also knows that it's following in the tradition of a lot of classic horror novels, but it acknowledges that. It talks about, oh, you know, this scene's straight out of The Exorcist, and she must be faking because we've all seen that before in this movie and um, it's just really there's funny parts there's super creepy parts it's a great build up uh, so I really really love this highly recommend it I am almost done with The Elementals by Michael McDowell I keep wanting to call him Malcolm McDowell but that's a different person um, I've heard a lot about him on the Horror Aficionados Goodreads group which I'm a part of um, so I have this one, and I also bought another one by him, which is Katie. Um, I'll talk about that one in a second. This one is about a family that has a vacation house, and it's in the south, and it's sort of like an island on the beach with three identical houses. Um, the family owns two of the houses, and the third one has just been sitting there empty for years, and it's slowly filling up with sand. And the youngest girl who's coming to this vacation house for the first time starts learning all the stories about all the creepy things that have happened in this third house and she's really curious and wants to go explore the house so some creepy stuff are happening um, I'm almost done with it and I'm enjoying it so far uh, his other book Katie is about all I know is that it's about a young girl who kills people with a hatchet that's all I know that <laughs> sounds pretty interesting uh, so we'll see I also have The Rats by James Herbert, and I assume it's about rats <laughs> eating people. Um, yeah, for millions of years, man and rat have been natural enemies, but now the balance of power has shifted. I tried to pick some shorter ones so that I could make it through a bunch, so we'll see. I'm probably not going to be able to read all these, but I'm going to try my best. This is Zombies and Shit by Carlton Mellick III. I have heard a lot about Carlton Mellick III. He writes, what do they call it? It's like splatterpunk or something, some weird gore punk hybrid combination. Um, yeah, this is about a show called Zombie Survival during the zombie apocalypse. And it sound, sort of, sounds, a little, sounds a little Hunger Gamesy. They put people into this um, enclosed place with a backpack of supplies and a weapon and they have to fight their way out of the zombies and only one person can get in the helicopter at the end to be rescued. So, sounds interesting. Um, if you want to spend a couple min minutes being amused, I would go look up Carlton Mellick's uh, other book titles. They are hysterical. Um, this is the first one of his I'm giving a try, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, it's not safe for work, not safe for kids, his, his book titles, so you've been warned. Um, I got a graphic novel. This is the first in the series. Um, actually, it's a manga, so I have to read it backwards, which is always really hard for me. Um, it's called Uzumaki by Junji Ito. And it's sort of, it's saying that it's kind of like The Ring, but it's basically a town where people start to become terrified of the spiral pattern and they start to be hypnotized by it and it's making people go insane. Um, I don't know, it's a series. Um, this is the first one. So 
very intrigued, had to throw a graphic novel on my list. Um, I also have Fever Dream by George R. R. Martin. I'm not even really sure what this is about. Um, a riverboat captain in 1857. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's George R. R. Martin, and I have a Game of Thrones-sized hole in my life, so I might try to fill it with this and see if his, uh, if his creepy books are any good as well. I have Revenge by Yoko Ogawa, and this is a collection of short stories that, again, I've heard very highly praised on Goodreads, so I should start doing that in between the books now. Um, yeah, it seems like a good one. This one I'm also really excited about, um, but I'm taking a break to read it before I read it because I read The Head Full of Ghosts, which is about exorcism. I'm also watching the new TV show, The Exorcist, and this book is about exorcism, so I'm like, it's too much. I need to break it up a little bit. Um, but this is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix, and he wrote um, Horror Store, which is a horror story about an Ikea-esque uh, store where the employees are spending the night and they're trying to solve these mysteries that are going on. It's super creepy and it's in the style of an Ikea catalog, so it's really funny. Um, this is his brand new book. Um, it takes place in the 80s and all I know is that, yeah, the girl's friend, she becomes possessed, so she has an exorcism. Um, if it's anything like Horror Story, I'm gonna love it, so. And the last one is The Ruins by Scott Smith. And I believe this was also made into a movie, and it's about um, a bunch of teenagers or young adults that go, yeah, Americans just out of college that go on a vacation to Mexico, and all of the ruins there, the Mayan Ruben ruins, something creepy happens. I think it has to do with plants, because there's plants on the cover. So I'm probably going to read this and then watch the movie. Um, yeah. Have you read any of these? Should any of them jump to the top of my list? Um, I'm just so excited. I love horror books. I love October. Yay! <laughs>